The purpose of this video is to describe the operation of a programmable logic controller training system. Specifically, we have a PC61 industrial control work cell trainer from LJ Create Systems of Norwich. On the right hand side we can see a laptop. On that laptop we have developed a ladder diagram program where it uses graphical symbols to develop a program. It operates rung by rung. We start at the top, execute that line of code, go down to the next rung, execute that line, and so on to the bottom and then jump back to the top. So it, the ladder diagram operates left to right on the rungs and then top to bottom. On the left hand side we have inputs such as timers and switches and sensor beams. On the output side, on the right hand side on the screen we have outputs such as drive for the conveyor belt, the counter data storage bins, timers and pistons. We develop that program offline uh, which gives us the advantages of simulation. It's faster than testing on the actual machine. It can be used as a tra realistic training tool, allows, allows rapid prototyping. Uh, it shows what applications are feasible. It, you can go through different types of faults quite rapidly. You can develop unforeseen circumstances. Uh, and see how the program operates and we don't have to take any real systems down and take machines offline it's a safer way to do it to develop a program we reduce the risk of damage to actual machinery it's more efficient it's more productive once we've got the code into a state where it simulates the functions we can then run the program on an actual real system and see if there is any differences between the virtual and the real physical world. Our, our LJ Create system is a unitary system. It also can be expanded onto a small rack here. So for example, we've got a Siemens S71200 standalone PLC system with inputs, central processing unit and outputs if we want to develop step 7 code and operate our pistons that way. What we will demonstrate is the operation of the ladder diagram that has been developed on the laptop using the LJ Create graphical entry system, the ladder diagrams. If we press the start button there is a timeout delay as a safety feature and the conveyor belt operates after five seconds. The first beam has been set up to detect tall boxes. Second beam has been set up to detect smaller size boxes. Piston 1 will operate the tall discs and push them into bin 1. Second piston will push the small boxes into bin 2. As it stands at the moment we are not operating piston 3. So if we have a tall box, put it onto the conveyor belt, breaks the beams, piston 1 pushes that tall box into bin 1. Demonstrate small box, breaks the beams and will operate piston 2. Our LJ Create system communicates with the machinery via USB cable, universal serial bus. It's a communications medium whereby it's, it's operating bit by bit. It's a serial data bus. We have the facility for an Ethernet cable to connect into the Siemens system if we want to develop that as well. So there's two communication ports if you like, there's 
Ethernet and there's USB, both digital serial buses. If we want to stop the system, there's a stop button that stops right away. If we want to operate the system in manual mode, we flick that over and we can reverse the direction of the conveyor belt, we can stop the conveyor belt. 